So, what we're going to talk about today, basically, is some scenarios of what would happen. You got a bad attitude, and you're not thinking, and you're listening to social media, and you're looking at what other folks are doing, and you're not really analyzing your own behavior. What's going to happen if you're riding in the car with somebody, and your face was getting pulled over? We have over 310 incidents a year where young Americans with confliction with police officers when they get pulled over because they didn't know how to put their hands down, because they didn't know how to lower their voice, or because they thought they was fighting for their rights and they end up getting shot or getting hurt real bad. And this is serious because if you don't know how to act and how to respond when you get pulled over, there is a chance that your mouth won't get you put in jail. And when you go to jail, everybody go to jail. Because somebody gotta come get you. Or if you can't get out, they gotta take care of you while you're in there. And I know y'all saying, Mr. Buffett, jail ain't a part of my, what, what I do each and every day. Anybody can go to jail if you make a bad decision. Y'all believe that? And I heard, y'all believe that? Anybody can go to jail for making a bad decision. All right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pass out these papers.
Yeah. yeah. Lala already really don't know the game. What do you think she said? I think so. Here he, he <laughs> go. <laughs> so guess what? Him and Lala going to jail on drug possession. Real easy. Lila ain't had nothing to do with ain't nothing. Ain't to do with nothing. She just, the dude gave her the pack and she said, okay. I didn't even get a chance to give it a gun. <laughs> and you see, these are the everyday scenarios that can happen if you're with somebody and you have no clue of what they got in the, or on them inside the car. That's right. And believe it or not, the court system, they love a scenario like that. Especially when she said, I think so. Here's Damn, you're going to find yourself on a stand yeah. and probably in some more bigger trouble than you think because they're going to tell you so much stuff. But the reality is... You should have asked questions before, especially if you have somebody that's in your life or you're around that's exhibiting some dangerous behavior that's going to cause you some damage and consequences. And it can happen to anybody because in Ayrscombe County, Nash County, Wayne County, Pitt County, Lenore, uh, um, all these surrounding counties have somebody inside the jail because of the same type of scenario and not thinking. And here's the thing, right? A lot of times, especially y'all girls, y'all like uh -huh. some, some of y'all. I know some of y'all. Not all of y'all. Some of y'all. Some of y'all more gangster than the dudes. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about that right quick. What? It's your fault. You should have regretted it. You should have took a charge. Yeah. Right. That's but true. how many dudes can do that? Uh, how many dudes gonna? How many dudes give it back? If she, dudes 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 if she dudes like your lady, lady, but if she just a little shorty on the side, you smashing. You ain't. You know. And some of the dudes can get into their lady. And they don't care. And don't care. Baby mama oh, baby, or whatever. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm saying? I mean, no, no. I mean, everybody's laughing, but these are true Real life circumstances. Scenarios. For real. And guess what? Some judges and some DAs will say, I don't care if she never been in trouble a day in her life. Mm -hmm. She's riding in the car with him and she's going to jail. Going to jail too. She is going to jail. In the state of North Carolina, Situations like this, they don't play. Where that young lady is from, uh, Deanna, Virginia, they, Gianni. Commonwealth State. Commonwealth State. That means they make the rules on the spot. Their own laws. Their own laws. They, and they, they ain't going to play with you. Huh? So that's, that's just a good scenario. Hey, you know, here's the thing, too, though, right? A lot of us find ourselves in situations like that, and we think we know something's going on. We don't even know the law. So when we get into trouble, now we're like, but mom, what but they say, but they say, what you mean by they say? I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought you had it figured out. But mom, but mom, you talking about, the man talking about, I need to go up there, they talking about a G17, what's that? I don't even know what that is. Mm -hmm. You don't even know, they call these, all this stuff in the, in the courtroom. You go in the courtroom, they yelling out all these statues and uh, G47, Jones versus um, the state of North Carolina, and, uh -huh. and you was like, what, Jones versus state of North Carolina? My name ain't Jones. No, nah, they ain't using your name. They using another case, referencing your case. That's it. And finna get gas you up. You took that pack from him. Now, mind you, too, I didn't have to give it to her, y'all. Mm -mm. If I would have just kept it in the car and they pull over and they find it and they like, whose is this? I ain't saying it's mine. She probably gonna say it's mine. And, but no, that ain't mine. They taking both of us. Exactly. Especially the person that owns the vehicle. Yeah, they, they definitely take it both. If I don't man up to it and say it's mine, they taking anybody with us. And another scenario. If they found drugs in the car, rarely will you see somebody yes. hand them you. the drugs. So, in their mind is, it's more dope inside the car. And guess what they're going to do? Oh, if you just got you a brand, your mama just got you a brand new car, when they call that dog, they're going to tell your whole car. And they're going to pound your whole car. So everything you don't work for is gone. Like I said, mm -hmm. but the car don't smell like weed or nothing. The police don't got a right to check your car anyway. Yeah, but I told them I ain't got my license. Mm -hmm. uh, That's proper cause. Yeah, once I say I ain't got my, if your paperwork is, ain't straight, I give them a reason to go to the second step. I see. It's a broken law. So this, mm -hmm. we're going to do another scenario for y'all. I need four guys to volunteer for me. 